Hi everyone. So this is a list, I'm sorry to say, from Rolling Stone. <laughs> and it's from 2020. And it is Paul McCartney's 40 Greatest Solo Songs. The definitive guide to his post-Beatles best. Chart smashes, psychedelic curiosities, punk, folk, disco, and plenty of silly love songs. So going to be interesting. Uh, not sure. Okay. So it's just more, it's more than one person that, uh, compiled this list. John Dolan, Simon Vozik, Levinson, Will Herms, and Rob Sheffield. So we can blame them if we don't like this list. So here we go. Let's see how long it takes until one of us is complaining. Yeah, these videos that pop up are so annoying and you can't, there's no way to, usually you can delete them, but I don't know, can't see where to delete them. Anyway, nice picture of Paul, Magneto and Titanium Man. Yeah, that's a great song. Very, uh, very catchy song from Venus and Mars. So I guess they, uh, they're, they're using the very same picture for each of these songs. Almost as annoying as this video I can't get rid of. Ever Present Past. Now that is seriously nice to see. That would be, that's from memory almost full. Uh, you know, it wasn't a hit single or anything, but it would be probably in my top 10 Paul McCartney songs of all time, like for his solo career. I just find it very, uh, you know, when, when it was released, it sounded current without him, like he sometimes would, like forcing himself to sound current, like a couple of the songs on uh, Egypt Station later on. And uh, yeah, it's a very underrated song, so it's nice to see it on the list. Good job, Rolling Stone, for a change. And Memory Almost Full, I hadn't bought any, I stopped buying Paul McCartney albums after Tug of War, which I liked, but I never bought Pipes of Peace. And for over 20, 25 years, I never bought any new releases by Paul McCartney until Memory Almost Full, which is an excellent album. Riding to Vanity Fair, a very nice song from Chaos and Creation in the Backyard, my second favorite Paul McCartney solo album. Mall of Kintyre. Yeah, it was a, a very big hit in the UK and Canada, but for some reason it wasn't uh, much of a hit in uh, the States. Temporary Secretary. Yeah. Um, I know some people find the song annoying from McCartney too. I've always loved it. Uh, it's Paul experimenting and having some fun and being a little on the, you know, silly side. I don't mind that song at all. I love it. Yeah. I've had enough from Back to the Egg. I always felt it, I don't know, like it was almost, no, sorry. I've had enough from London Town. That's it. Yeah, it didn't seem to fit on London Town for me. And it almost seemed like he was forcing himself to do a rock song. And I like it more than I did back when London Town was released. But still, it's not one of my favorites. Early Days, that's a very nice song from, was that on New? Yeah, New. Yeah, he's telling the story about the early days and, you know, being on the bus and everything. Really nice song. Excellent. Oh, see, 
This makes me almost angry. The back seat of my car, yes, it belongs on the list, but it belongs, for me, it would be number one, but it belongs at least in the top five from Ram. I feel it's one of the greatest songs ever, his vocals and everything else about it. Yep, Flaming Pie, that's a very catchy song from Flaming Pie. A good rocker, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Maybe my thumbnail. So, Say, Say, Say is better than the back seat of my car. I don't think so. It is a catchy song, I will say, 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 but... Uh, it's not one of my favorites. Fine Line, the opening song from Chaos and Creation in the Backyard. Uh, very good song. I don't think it would be in my, you know, top 40, but still a very good song. Four or five seconds. I don't even know if I've ever heard that. I know it was a huge hit, but I probably did hear it, you know, once or twice when it was released, but just had no interest in it. Good Night Tonight, uh, you know, his kind of a attempt at a disco song, and it, it was a great song, R really good. And the, the B-side, Daytime, Nighttime Suffering, was even better. Angry from uh, Press to Play. That's actually a good rocker. Um, I haven't, I don't have Press to Play in my CD collection. Uh, kind of expensive to buy now. I'm hoping that they, you know, have it as part of the archive collection at some point. But yeah, it's a good rocker with... Uh, Bill Collins and uh, Pete Townsend. I, once again, I don't think it would it wouldn't be on my top forty list, but still, it's a it's a good song. Heart of the Country, a very nice song from Ram. Waterfalls is gorgeous from uh, McCartney too. Hope of Deliverance, um, once again, it's a good song. And I like the album Off the Ground. I think it's underrated. Yeah, it's a good song, but once again, would it be in, in my top 40? No. Listen to what the man said from Venus and Mars. Excellent. Very, you know, that's the thing with Paul McCartney. He could really <laughs> write a melody. Sometimes his lyrics weren't the greatest, but uh, he knew how to write a catchy song. Yeah, Smonkberry Moon Delight with one of one of his greatest vocal performances. Like for five minutes, he's giving his all with his vocals. Yeah, one of. Uh, one of the songs from Venus and Mars, a nice song. It's one of, you know, what John Lennon used to call his granny S-H-I-T songs, but it's really good. It, once again, it just wouldn't be in my top 40. Here Today, yes, definitely in the, maybe even top 10, is really nice tribute to John Lennon. With a little luck. Yep, from London Town. Great song once again. Coming up, once again, some people aren't fans of it. I love it. Of course, uh, I love the video too. Uh, first time I saw it, it was like, he's impersonating Ron Mail of Sparks. He knows Sparks. I was so impressed. 
Yeah. Junior's Farm, I think most McCartney fans really love when uh, Paul would rock out like, like that. And high, 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 and a few others. Great rocker. It would be in my top 10, probably. Yes, 1985, that would be, I don't know, two or three on my ranking, not 16. From Band on the Run. Silly Love Songs, yeah. I think when that came out, people used to, I don't think they, they really listened to the lyrics. But, over, you know, through the years, I think the song has really grown in stature with a lot of fans and, and critics. And then, of course, Paul McCartney's bass on that song is amazing. I'm getting tired of this picture of Paul. <laughs> Bluebird, yeah. Nice song from Band on the Run. Wouldn't be in my top 40, though. Every Night from his debut album, McCartney, is excellent. Let me roll it. Um, I think that guitar, it's a great guitar riff, but when you, when you hear the song so many times, it kind of gets a little tiring, you know. Beware My Love, one of the, probably the best song from uh, Wings at the Speed of Sound. Yep, excellent rocker. So here we are, the top 10. Hmm. Venus and Mars Rock Show wouldn't be my top 40, but still great opening to uh, Venus and Mars. Another day, that's... That was Paul's very first single. Very catchy, as usual. Yeah. Love the song. Although, I must say, once again, the B-side, Oh Woman, Oh Why, that would be in my top ten. Hi, 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 which I mentioned, one of his great rockers. Junk? No, I, it wouldn't be in my top 40. I like it. Very nice song from his debut album. This is getting scary. Jet? Yep, everybody loves Jet. Everybody loves Band on the Run. Which I'm sure is going to be coming up. Yep, from Ram, Uncle Albert, Admiral Halsey. Great song. Live and Let Die, once again. Much loved by McCartney fans. Hmm. Too Many People, the opening track from Ram. That's the next. Yeah, that would be in my top. Yeah, it could even make my top 10. Now, the one thing I see missing. Uh, are songs from Red Rose Speedway. Uh, Little Lamb Dragonfly, is that what it's called? I love that song. That that would be in my top 10. All right, what's missing? Maybe I'm amazed. My Love. Band on the Run. Band on the Run at number two. Yeah. It would be it wouldn't be in my top ten, but it, you know, of course, deserves to be at least in the top twenty. So number one's gotta be maybe I'm amazed. Yeah. I was actually listening to that last night and his vocals. I know some people prefer the live version, which is great. But I love the studio version. Just his vocals on that are amazing. Yeah, it's just missing uh, Little Lamb Dragonfly, like I mentioned, and uh, My Love. It's, you know, it's 
For Rolling Stone, it's a decent list. But like I said, there's some songs that should be way higher, like Backseat of My Car and 1985. But yeah, I would love your thoughts. And what is missing? What do you think is missing from this top 40 list? You know, everybody's list is going to be different, right? So <laughs> nobody's, the only person that's going to be happy with the list is the person that made the list. So thank you for watching. Please remember to like the video and leave a comment below and subscribe. Thank you.